Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to talk about how to hit out of a sand trout. I'm going to give you some ideas on how to set up, some fundamentals, how you want to set up to hit different shots out of the trout, the basic shots, long, medium, and a short shot. So let's talk about the setup first. Got some lines in here, want the ball position in between center and left heel. I'm going to put the majority of the weight on the left foot when you're by the green side. We're hitting green side bunker shots. About 80% on the left foot. Okay, and we want to get a very good knee flex. We want to get really strong with the legs. And when we swing on the back swing, we want to make sure, depending on the length shot it is, we want to make sure we stay very quiet and calm with the body. So we want to make sure that when we go back, we're keeping everything on the front foot here. And then when we come through it, we're going to let everything rotate through it, but keeping that knee flex is an important thing. So we want to make sure that we don't straighten up that leg, which can make us bottom out, hit it thin, all kind of bad things can happen from there. So we want to make sure that we stay flexed with it. We're going to hit behind the ball, and that's going to be relative to how we take the club path back. So that's the setup. We want to make sure we stay in a good solid foundation and not move much until we hit the ball and then we have to let our chest rotate through it. All right, we're going to talk about how we can hit some longer bunker shots, some mid-range bunker shots, some shorter bunker shots. And I'm going to show you how to do that with changing your setup and your stance, swing plane, how that influences how far you hit the ball. Also, you can do it with changing clubs too, um, different lofts of the club. You can have different sand wedges. You know, you could have your 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. That also is going to influence how far you hit it. But I'm going to talk about how if you use a 54, 56 degree, how you can hit different shots around the green here lengthwise. And I'm going to show you with some lines in the trout. All right, I'm going to hit a few shots here for you. You can see I got the lines here. I got the red flag back here. We're going to line up parallel to the target. Therefore, for a longer bunker shot, I'm going to try to hit this past the red flag. We're going to have, we're going to go straight back on our foot path. Weight still forward, hands still forward, a little bit of shaft lean. We're going to do all those mechanics we did from the face on view angle, but we're going to do the swing path here and that's going to help us not hit quite as much sand and it'll make the ball go a little bit further. All right, let's give it a try here. shot went straight back hit just a little bit of sand and it went you know 25 30 yards okay so now let's say we've got a mid-range bunker shot which is probably like that red flag there what we're gonna do here so I'm gonna draw another line instead of being straight back I would open up my feet slightly okay see this line here okay instead of being here I've got my feet angled Okay, now my feet and my club path, I'm going to go the same angle going back as I got my feet. Okay, so I'm going to go straight back with how my feet are lined up. So that brings us to what do we do with the club face? Well, I'm going to open the club face a little bit also. So the club face is going to be open. I'm aimed well, but it's open and it's still pointing at the target. Okay, dig myself in. Got the face slightly open couple degrees and I'm gonna take the path back here that's a pretty good shot so you can see the path went more about like this okay so now if I want to hit a real short shot one that's just over the fringe here pins on like five ten feet then let me show you how to do that I would open my feet up even more okay Therefore, it's out there. Gonna go even more outside. So, open the face up more because I made more left. And then I'm gonna swing the same way as I just did. I just got a different setup and a different swing plane. Let's we'll see how it goes.
a little longer than I wanted to hit it, but that's the idea. Didn't have too much sand there. I might have changed clubs and maybe done like a 58, but that's the idea is to do that with the setup. And by going, when you want to hit shorter shots, by going more steep, that's going to make you hit a little bit more sand, make it more steep and hit more blasted out. We're not hitting the ball when we're doing this. We're hitting behind the ball. We're hitting sand first. You can hear a splash when you hit it. So you don't want to aim at the ball. You're aiming at sand. So that's some ideas too. Some people like to put, you know, like when they're doing a longer bunker shot, just a little line right behind the ball. Then if they're doing a little bit more to mid range and they put a you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch behind the ball. And then for the shorter shot, they may put it like right there about an inch. But it's still the angle of how you're doing and setting up that dictates this and helps you with doing, doing this, all right? So these are some ideas. You can see the legs stay pretty still in the swing like we talked about earlier. There's not a lot of movement until you hit the ball, then everything rotates through it. That's very, very important. The knee flex is important. So hopefully these are some helpful ideas to help you get out of the trap better than you are currently doing. And check me out on my website, barnhillgolf.com, and leave me some comments on how it's working for you.